What about a girlfriend? You got a girlfriend out here? Nah, I did, but nah, I don't got time for that right now. Yeah, is it is it tough having a relationship out here on the streets? Yeah, especially when y'all both are like on the same addiction. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's, it's never you know, a good thing to be out here and y'all both get high on the same thing. And yeah. Especially when you don't have it, then she goes to choose to the next person that has it, so. I'm Jesse, behind the camera is James, and we are roaming in Riverside, and today uh, we're in the east side area of Riverside, California. It's a little gloomy day, but no, nevertheless a beautiful day. We're right on the corner of Chicago and University, right behind the Food for Less. And today I got the pleasure of talking to Darnell. Darnell, tell our viewers a little bit about yourself, like your age and where you're from. 35. I was originally born in Orange County, but raised out here my whole life in, in Riverside. Okay. Now, Darnell, you find yourself homeless out here. Uh, yeah, I mean... That ain't nothing to be ashamed about, bro. Nah, yeah, I'm homeless, but okay. it's just by, by choice, you know. Okay. So, any family out here to help you out? Yeah, I got, I got my mom, she stays in San Bernardino. Okay, so you have a relationship with her still? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So where'd you sleep at last night, brother? I was, I was actually you know, collecting some fans. Okay. What, what do you do for resources, Darnell? I mean, go collect cans, I mean, donate plasma. Okay. I mean, that's about it. What kind of work have you done in your past? Um, I got a lot of work skills, I mean, I do stucco. Right on. I do landscaping. I do uh, concrete, I do it all. I mean, How do you feel physically, you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Any of our viewers out there, we got Darnell here, fine young man, perfect candidate to get off the streets, guys. If anybody, any of our viewers out there, you business owners, if you got any part-time work for Darnell, that would be much appreciated. He probably wouldn't be too hard to find. We're back here behind the Food for Less on the corner of University and Chicago. Now tell us this, Darnell, um, is it dangerous out here? No, I've been out here since 96, so. And everything's cool, huh? Yeah, everything's cool. What about a girlfriend? You got a girlfriend out here? Nah, I did, but nah, I don't got time for that right now. Yeah, is it is it tough having a relationship out here on the streets? Yeah, especially when y'all both are like on the same addiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's, it's never you know, a good thing to be out here and y'all both get high on the same thing. And yeah. Especially when you don't have it. And she goes to choose to the next person that has it, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, you seem like a really nice guy, Darnell. You got a lot of friends out here? Yeah. Yeah. I get along with everybody. Okay. Okay. Right on. Thanks for talking to us. But what's a typical day like for you out here? I mean, it's, to me, it's, this is normal. I mean, I do this every day, sometimes once, once in a while. I mean, I'm trying to get back into going to school. Okay, okay. So you got some plans. You got any plans of getting off the streets? Yeah. Actually, I want to probably take up the full sales, I think, at okay. the university. They, they want me to go out there to, go to school out there. I started doing computers, okay. so. Well, Darnell, have you hit up a shelter? I have, but... Uh, have you been in one? No, I haven't been in these ones mm -hmm. not at all, but like... It might be a thought. They got some emergency cold weather shelters out there, temporary. Yeah, I they think. got the Salvation Army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have maybe, you know, I mean, it's cold out here. How do you keep warm out here at night? That's it, That's it huh? That's it. You're just a warrior, man. This ain't for everybody out here. You know, I see a lot of guys out here running around here and they got mental illness. They're all talking to themselves. I don't see that in you, man. How do you protect yourself from that? Um, because, I mean, I do, I do have low mental, but I got PTSD. You okay. Know what I'm saying? Uh, from seeing my sister pass away in front of my eyes, I mean, mm -hmm. at a young age. Sorry but to hear that. It's, it's mind over matter. You let it, you, you know, you let it take over your mind, it's going to, you know, it's going to get you at the end of the day. Yeah. But if you don't mind it, you know, it's not going to really do nothing to you. Yeah. So. What makes your day go by easier out here, Darnell? 
just riding around. I mean, to me, I, I ride around and try to help a lot of people that I can, mm -hmm. you know. <clears throat> and it's just a day by day thing. Yeah. Does it get lonely out here, bro? Nah. No. Never lose any hope? Nah, never. Good, good, good. Never. All right. So what do you got going for the rest of the day today? Um, doing this and then going to go help out a friend. Um, fix on a couple bikes. Okay. Yeah. So tell us this last question, Darnell. What were your dreams and aspirations when you were younger? You can still do it, man. You're still a young man. Um, to, to continue boxing. I mean, I used to box though, too. Oh, you used to box? Yeah, out there in Orange County before I moved out here. Hit the gold gloves and all that? When I was younger. Yeah. Yeah. I'm up there, like, up there. I went to Anaheim uh, Boys and Girls Club, and then right next, across the street was a gym that I joined. Okay. So. All right. Well, I wish you the best. I'm Jesse. Right. You got a couple friends out here, Darnell. That's James behind the camera. All and right. at the end of my interviews, I always ask, can I say a prayer for you? Yeah. All right. Dear Father in Heaven, dear Lord, I have uh, Darnell out here, Father, and uh, you know, he's homeless right now, Lord, and, uh, and none of your children should be out here living on the streets, Lord. He's a good man, Father. So I pray that you open up the gates of heaven, drop some godly men in Darnell's path so they can get him some work, so they can get him some, some employment so that he can uh, have a better way, Lord, and they can show him that there, there is a better life for Darnell out here, Lord. And uh, Father, maybe you could drop a godly woman in his path to help him navigate life on this side of heaven, Lord. And uh, Just let Darnell know that he's a good man, Father, that... Uh, if he ever loses any hope, Father, I pray that you fill his cup with hope. Let Darnell know that there are people out here that care for him. There are people out here that love Darnell, Lord. And always keep this man fed. Never let him go hungry, Lord. I pray all this in your son Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Can I have a hug, bro? Mm -hmm. All right. Darnell. Nice meeting you, man. Uh, nice meeting you, too. I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is James. We're out here with Darnell. We're in the east side of Riverside. We're roaming in Riverside, and we are out.